Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for joining me. My name is Samantha and I'm on a natural hair journey, but on this channel I'll be sharing other aspects of lifestyle, which is why the channel is called Lifestyle Unlocked. But focusing on my hair, um, if you here for the first time, I had natural hair and then I relaxed it about nearly three months ago and unfortunately that didn't work out for me. So I had to do a big chop on the 18th of November and now I'm just on a natural hair journey to help my hair grow healthily and hopefully retain length so that it's nice and long and I can style it in various ways. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and if you want to know the next time I've got a video uploaded, all you need to do is just click the notification bell. I would really appreciate it if you give the video a like and if you know anyone who will be interested in this kind of content, please share the video with them and invite them to come over and subscribe as well. Now, I'm the kind of person who likes to set goals because goals give me purpose and they give me direction. If I can think of a goal, then I have to think about why do I want to set that goal and how I'm going to achieve the goal. And that gives me a plan. So on this journey, I've decided to set goals for my hair because that will give me a, a really good plan, a regimen of sorts so that I can achieve the goals that I'm aiming for. And um, my ultimate goal, as I said, is to grow healthy, beautiful, natural hair. And therefore, over the next month, this is what I pledge to do. I'll be reviewing the goals on a monthly basis. So um, if you want to know about that, then I definitely encourage you to subscribe to the channel. In order for me to have healthy, long hair, there are three main things that I need to do and focus on and that is to moisturize my hair, strengthen my hair and protect my hair. So when I moisturizing my hair that I'll be using my daily regimen. I've got a video on that on how I moisturize my hair and I'll also be doing weekly deep conditioning treatments because those really help to add moisture into the hair and I've got really dry hair naturally type 4c hair which is really dry and therefore I need to really focus on moisturizing my hair so not just on a weekly basis but also daily. When it comes to strengthening my hair, it does include my daily regimen because I've got really good strengthening um, ingredients in my hair butter, in um, my oils. Therefore, I will include my daily regimen as part of the um, strengthening plan. I'll also plan to do protein treatments and I think for this month, I'm going to do it just once. Um, protein is good for the hair. You know, protein um, helps to strengthen the hair because hair is mainly made up of um, protein and therefore you need to replace some of the protein that may get lost through wear and tear but it will also help to build the bonds which will make the hair stronger but you've got to be careful that you don't um, get protein overload because that can actually make the hair bristle and dry and they will start to break off and you could actually lose your hair it could really damage your hair so I like to balance out moisture and protein and since my hair is not breaking since I did the big chop my main focus is moisture but I should not ignore the fact that it needs protein so I'll be doing moisture treatment three times a month once a month I'll be doing a protein treatment so the way you can do protein treatment there's so many ways you can either get pre-made protein treatments and there's some really good ones there which don't cost the earth. I've used the Africa's Best hair mayonnaise and I find that really good. You can also do your own homemade protein treatment. You can use eggs if you like or even um, the famous rice water that has a lot of protein in it. So you can try that and see if it works and see if it helps you. There's so many ways you can do the protein treatment. You can apply it, leave it on for a few hours or half an hour or overnight. But it really depends on how much protein your hair can tolerate. Mine is quite sensitive to protein therefore I will probably put it on for about a half an hour, an hour at the most and then I'll need to just wash it out and then do a deep conditioning. Within the oils that I'm using, I'm using things like Jamaican black castor oil which is well known to strengthen the hair. I'm also using Ayurvedic treatments like fenugreek, moringa, all those things will help, which help to strengthen the hair as well. One of the things that I'm hoping to get in the next few weeks is aloe vera and aloe vera plant. 
because I've seen so many videos about that and I've heard so many good things about it so I'm quite keen to try it but that'll probably be in the next year. When it comes to protecting the hair that is so that you can avoid um, dryness through moisture going into the elements and also um, just avoiding manhandling your hair that you need to be gentle with your hair by protecting my hair I'm talking about things like low manipulation I'm not gonna say no manipulation at all because I will be manipulating my hair because I'll be doing daily head massages and also you know if you applying the creams and oils etc you do manipulate your hair to some extent I'm also using a very wide toothed comb to help destroy distribute the creams and oils throughout my hair and also just to detangle the hair because I don't want my hair to knot so it's low manipulation. I'm also going to go on a low to no heat challenge. I do use heat when I'm deep conditioning because that helps to open up the hair cuticles and let the good things and whatever deep conditioning treatment that you're using go into the shaft and that will nourish the hair and, and strengthen the hair. It will also nourish the hair follicles and we know hair is coming out of the hair follicles and it will also nourish the skin and help promote blood flow to the skin. So all these things are going to help to keep your skin healthy healthy and allow the hair follicles to um, be healthy and hair will grow out healthy hair will grow out of those well nourished well taking care of hair follicles sleeping with a satin scarf and using a satin pillow every night is also something that I've been doing for a while and I found that really helpful because that helps reduce friction it also helps to retain the moisture within your hair because if you sleep on a cotton pillow or with a cotton scarf the moisture all the oils etc that you've put in your hair all that hard work is just going to be a waste because the oils the moisture will come out of your hair and go into the satin um, and into the cotton scarves so satin scarf or satin pillow satin bonnet or silk scarf you know those kind of things will help to keep moisture and oils in your hair or on your hair protective styles is also something else that you can think about for me not the only protective style I suppose I can I can think of right now because my hair is so short is to just cover my hair with a satin scarf when I'm going about doing my stuff on a day-to-day -day basis. Wearing a satin scarf also protects my hair from the central heating because in this winter season we do turn on the central heating and that's just going to dry out the air and draw out moisture from your hair. So those are my goals for this month. If you want to join me on that challenge, then please go ahead and let me know if you're going to do that. And then what I plan to do is that at the end of this month, I'm going to come back and let you know how I have done. And if you are going to join me on this challenge, then I would really love it if you subscribe to the channel and then come back at the end of the month and we can share whether or not we've managed to achieve our goals. And then of course, I'll be giving you an update on the hair just so that you see how it is done. If you want to see what my hair is looking like right now, there are lots of videos that I've done already and you can watch that and then you can use that as a baseline. But thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you being here and uh, please subscribe to the channel, give the video a like, sign up for notifications and share the video with uh, people that you know will be interested in this. And um, one thing that I really want you to, to think about is practicing gratitude. We have to be grateful for all the things that we have. I know sometimes it can seem like there's nothing to be grateful for, but we have a lot to be grateful for. And that's one thing that I do on a daily basis, practice gratitude. Anyway, thank you again for watching my lovelies. I'll see you next time. Until then, take care. Bye.